Okay, the moment of truth. So, I've got this um, set up on my test bed here, and we're going to see if uh, we can lift this three pound strut, three pounds plus the wheel. <clears throat> well, the wheel and the strut weigh three pounds. But we're going to see, and of course, I already did this so that I wouldn't look like a, a stupid fool on the internet. So, Hopefully it'll work a second time around, but this is my proof of concept, and uh, took me a while to get the, these gears in. You know, you see, I have a worm gear here and, and a <coughs> matching uh, gear, matching wheels. What they call it? They call the the worm itself the gear, and uh, the, the mating uh, part of it, this brass part, they call a wheel. But uh, anyway, I wanted to make sure that this motor and this configuration was going to work to lift this. And uh, there you go. There you go. And the reason I chose the worm is that... Let's uh, retract this first. The reason I chose the worm over, let's say, uh, a trunnion, you know, like we typically use on retracts in RC, is that there's zero um, slop in this. I don't need an up lock. Uh, this thing goes where you you put it. Uh, uh, the characteristic of a of a, a worm gear. And a matching wheel is that you can drive it only one way. The motor can drive the worm, and um, of course it turns the uh, the wheel, which retracts the gear. But if you were to remove power and try to push it and force it to 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 uh, turn the other way, it will not happen. It's locked solidly. This is a one-way drive. It goes worm to wheel, uh, you know, to uh, mechanical arm, and uh, you can't use the mechanical arm to turn it backwards, okay? You can't make the motion happen backwards. And that's perfect for what we do in RC. So you can see this thing is locked solidly even though, you know, this is, is locked. Even without this, it's locked solidly in place. And when I retract it, even though I have uh, an uplock pin here, I really don't need to make the uplock functional. All I need to do is design the electronics for this to control speed and, of course, uh, position. You know, uh, I need to, to know when it's down, I need to know when it's up, and how far. Uh, I'm a double E, I'm confident I can do that. that that's not a problem. Small Arduino. Um, MIDI and an H bridge and some custom software and, and I'll be in business. So happily I got through this and by the way I had some concerns about the angle of the gear and everything. Everything's perfect. It's, it's absolutely perfect. So uh, now I can move on. What I'll do is uh, design the, um, you know obviously th this is not going in the wing. This is strictly proof of concept. I'll have to uh, start designing the area of the wing that this goes into and then packaging it to fit. And um, I'm pretty confident I could make it all fit without any interference. So uh, there you go. Oh, uh, I should mention uh, this battery is a, a 4C 1300 milliamp. Uh, lithium and the motor I got from Servo City and believe it or not it was ten dollars on sale I bought three of them probably gonna buy another two I have two as a spare three as a spare I bought one extra in this instance so that if I had to uh, butcher it up in any way I would still have two motors left so um, 
So I'm happy with it, even though you know, it works okay, even though I got these crazy screws and a panduit strap here, AC air conditioning panduit strap holding the motor down. That's all I wanted it to do is hold it so that I could get through this test. So, uh, babbling on here. So I'll just end it now and uh, thankfully I can get moving on this thing again. It took me 10 days to get this gear set. Peed me off. The story behind that, I know I sound babbling again, but the story behind that is that uh, today is um, Saturday, Saturday morning after midnight. Today is Saturday. Last Saturday it was supposed to be delivered, and on Friday I checked the uh, tracking, and it was 25 miles away at the local distribution center, and instead of being... Uh, I dropped off at my local post office, which is the normal distribution. I checked Saturday morning, there was no status on it whatsoever. I checked Sunday, no status. I checked Monday, and to find out that the gear is uh, nearly 600 miles away. So they had it within 25 miles of where I lived, and the post office screwed up and put it on a wrong truck or whatever, and off it went, 600 miles away. So 10 days just to get that gear. And I hate to be interrupted like that. So uh, end rant. That's the end of my rant. All right, so we'll end this right now.